Welcome to the channel. We're just gonna. Surprised it actually loaded. My drive shit in the bed. I don't remember where I left off. Arthur? Alright, we're just going to test the sound here, see how everything is. Probably only going to play for about 15 minutes. Yeah, let's go to Sadie. Oh, here's my horse, pork and beans. Good horse. Thank God for the cinematic mode. Really saves all the horse riding, which is kind of BS, if you ask me. Yeah. 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 You all right there, boy? You all right there, boy? Stranger? No. Where are you going, pork and beans? Yeah. Alright, we'll turn off cinematic mode. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, he's 
Is that a fucking gator? your husband, but it's going to be... Well, it's going to be violent. All right, I think I have the right gun situation going here. Coming with us to collect her husband? I Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> <coughs> All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by monsters. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find. Oh us. yeah, we're gonna go break out John Marston. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards. There we go. Birds and roll our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Why oh, isn't this lady helping? Rifle, there we go. Oh, God, first time doing this, probably going to screw it up. Sadie, you better find him. Grab that raffle. You can use the scope. <laughs> the crappy fucking sirens. Come on, 
Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, yeah. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. Goodbye. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her. Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... He's been Is he a nice Mm-hmm. I look forward to meeting him. We're just gonna kill all the police. All right. They're, they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Oh no, not the tuberculosis. Oh god. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. <sighs> you better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this poop. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out. Oh, Arthur. Hold your fire! Stay down. Stay down. You bring me John Marston right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seven. I hear you. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Now, no <laughs> funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Oh, boy. Let's clear these and make a run for it.
Oh boy. Oh, get out of there, dude. Where are we going, Sadie Adler? Holy crap. Oh shit, they're calling me. Stupid. Oh, come on, dude. Damn it! Alright, retry from the checkpoint. What's going on? No, you're gonna die, bro.
What are you doing, John Marston? Let's fucking go, bro. Why was he there before me? I just saw him standing there. Nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Oh, right in the shoulder. FD right in the b-hole, bro. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all dressed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <clears throat> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Oh, my my pork and beans is pooping. What are you doing back there? Sadie. So what the hell happened in Get off my sack. Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea, that still don't seem real somehow. All them years, Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No, what a goddamn mess. And then we, what about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you... Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... <clears throat> might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Where are we going? Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Yes, not. As soon as we get to where we're going, I'm going to end this broadcast. And hopefully, sound is okay. It's not like I had any viewers anyhow, so what, what does it matter if the sound was any good? It's the dumbest shit I ever heard. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? 
Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. <laughs> well, F you, Dutch. Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Not a problem, oh, big tip, Betty. Or uh, abnormally large boobs, Abigail. Just uh, have you as a friend. Uh oh. All right, I'm just gonna save it, and that's the end of this. Well, oh, did it twice, just to be sure. <laughs> Stupid ass. All right, guys. Green Alive Downfall is the channel. Like, subscribe, do whatever. Thank you.